<laughs> well, we can't make it, man. <laughs> Good. Uh, Superintendent Darren Filkey, officer in charge of traffic services branch with SAPOL. Uh, we're here today at uh, Highmarsh because uh, in the early hours of this morning, uh, South Australia turned on uh, their mobile phone detection camera capability like uh, what is behind me here on Port Road. Uh, this is the first time South Australia have had mobile phone detection cameras and they're in five locations across the metropolitan area of Adelaide. Mobile phone detection cameras uh, are here to change driver behaviour. They're here to make people think about what they're doing while they're driving. We know that distraction accounts for 25 to 30% of serious injuries and fatalities on the state's roads. So SAPOL and the government are committed to uh, reducing lives lost and serious injuries on the roads and the mobile phone detection cameras are one of the ways in which we are going to do that. Uh, as has uh, been stated previously, the mobile phone detection cameras are currently working in what we'll call an educational phase, and that is they will be detecting drivers uh, using their mobile phones, but no driver will be fined, uh, no driver will lose any demerit points, but they will receive a warning letter that they've been detected. And that uh, will take basically the form of a letter from SAPOL to say that you've uh, uh, been detected by a mobile phone detection camera, uh, give you a, a nice and gentle reminder about uh, the significance of distraction in terms of how it contributes to, to tragedy on South Australian roads and really asking people to, to make good choices while they're driving. So that uh, grace period with the warning letter will be in place for three months from the 19th of June to the 19th of September. After the 19th of September, people will receive an expiation notice uh, they will receive a $599 fine uh, uh, and uh, victims of crime level attached to that. So, unfortunately for people who use uh, their mobile phone, if they choose to do that and are detected, you are going to be fined and you're going to lose demerit points um, after the 19th of September. We will continue uh, outside of the mobile phone detection camera uh, regime, police um, on the street will still be looking for people who are using mobile phones while they're driving. So the cameras will only detect uh, the people driving under these locations, but you can rest assured that police are still out there uh, actually looking for people uh, using their mobile phones. Uh, last year we issued over 30,000 uh, expiation notices for mobile phone use. So we know that people are still using mobile phones. Um, I just encourage everybody, and our message is really simple, please do not touch your mobile phone while driving. Just leave it alone. Uh, if you really desperately need to take a call or uh, send a message, uh, then pull over, park your vehicle and do that. But yeah, using your phone uh, while driving uh, leads to up to four times uh, the risk of being involved in a, in a crash or a collision. So as I said, the message is simple. Just don't touch your phone while driving. Sorry, you have to step a bit closer, Sorry, I can't hear you. How has the testing period gone so far? What have police seen in sort of numbers and stats? Uh, yeah, testing period has gone well. Clearly, uh, it's, it's been no secret what we've been doing from a government perspective and also from a safe poll perspective. Uh, this has been ongoing for a while. So we know that during the testing period over the last month, from about mid-April to, to last night, over 6 million... Uh, 6 million 700 thousand vehicles pass through the five sites uh, where the mobile phone detection cameras are and around about 71 thousand people uh, were, were found as a result of that using their mobile phone which is around about a one percent of drivers using their phones under these locations so uh, we'll have at the end of the three month grace period a lot more accurate figures and accurate numbers um, around that but just those numbers alone can show you that the message needs to get through to people to not use their phones. And that's not a full cool picture, is it? Because you've you know, been playing around with the system in that testing period. Can you tell me about that? 
Look, the testing period is just that. Um, I won't go into the specifics of the testing period itself, but we know that during that period, uh, there's various uh, things that get done with the cameras to make sure they're working at the front end on the road and at the back end at expiation notice branch. So we'll have a lot more accurate uh, figures in terms of uh, expiations that will be give that are likely to be given or detections uh, that we've found during this grace period. So, but that's what our initial figures are telling us. Any concerns around the AI making mistakes and how will that be mitigated? Look, we've been upfront right from the start. There's always going to be a human element in terms of the adjudication uh, to any detections that are found. Uh, we know that the AI at the front end here on the road will take the photograph and will be sent to expiation notice branch where a trained, non-sworn member of SAPOL will review uh, that photograph, um, will determine whether uh, the offence has been made out, and only then will an expiation notice be issued, and only then, in terms of the warning period, will a warning uh, letter be issued. So we're confident uh, that the system will work. Uh, the vendor themselves has to make sure that they're providing an accurate uh, system and, and a system uh, that won't have failures. Um, and we also know from interstate jurisdictions that there's been a high level of accuracy with these cameras as well. It's ultimately trying to prevent driver distraction. How much is driver distraction a concern in terms of how it affects the road toll? Um, as I said before, it's, it's, a, it's a significant concern because we know that distraction um, in the last five years um, has led to 199 deaths on South Australian roads. This year alone, 10 deaths out of the 40 uh, that we've had this year are down to distraction. So we know that it contributes significantly uh, to, to lives lost, but also in relation to serious injuries. So people need to concentrate on the job of driving um, and not talking on their phone. And the signage that's going to be similar to red light, speed, point of point cameras, do you hope that that's just extra awareness for, for drivers? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, we will have signs that will be placed uh, before uh, people uh, arrive at a mobile phone detection site such as the one behind me and that's consistent with what we do with uh, red and speed light cameras in this particular state so people will get a fair warning uh, that there's a mobile phone detection camera operating in the area um, and really if after warnings after all the media after all the advertising that that we've done over the last few months um, if people are continuing to use their mobile phones then Unfortunately, they have to pay the consequences of that. So there's been ample warning. Uh, people need to change their driving behaviour right now. If they haven't had a chance to change it before, now is the time to do it. When will we start seeing that sign to pop up? Pardon? When will we start seeing that sign? Uh, you'll see that sign is starting to pop up probably within the next, uh, during this uh, brace warning period. Um, I can't give you a definitive time that it will be, uh, be popping up, but um, I expect that in the next three months, you'll start to see that sign into here. Can you talk us through the rules now around having a phone in a driver's lap? Yeah, there has been some amendments made to the legislation uh, that uh, complement the, the new mobile phone detection camera capability. Um, and that now covers off any ambiguity around what uh, held and use means for a mobile phone. So uh, quite simply, and I think you've just alluded to it, you can't have a phone sitting in your lap uh, while using it because having it sitting or resting on any part of your body is considered use in terms of the legislation. So uh, there's a very good website um, uh, that DIT have, uh, have put up in terms of frequently asked questions and what the rules are. So I encourage people to go to the Think Road Safety website, have a look at the frequently asked questions, have a look at what the legislation actually says, and they'll get a really clear picture of what they can and can't do. But uh, having a phone sitting in your lap uh, under the new legislation is using your mobile phone. Other states have already harnessed this AI technology for, for other things like seatbelt uh, detection. Would that be something that sounds for them in the future? Look, at the moment we're concentrating on these detection cameras only detecting mobile phone use. We know that technology has the ability to detect other offences. Um, and look, that, that may be the conversation uh, with government and between Saipol and government down the track, but at the moment we're concentrating on the mobile phone detection. Say, yeah, do you want to oh, just sure. say um, after the grace period 540 and then a 99 yeah. dollars So um, after the grace period finishes, people will the registered owner of the vehicle, that is, will receive uh, an expiation notice. 
and that expiation notice will be $540 plus the $99 Victims of Crime levy um, plus the three demerit points they'll lose from their licence.